First, open your trash bag and lay it on the ground as shown. Your first cut will go down the middle of the top layer of the trash bag. Do not cut through both layers. Once at the top of the bag, you'll make two more cuts in order to open the bag up. Again, make sure you're only cutting the top layer of the bag. Next, open the bag up so that you have one large plastic rectangle on the ground. I'll refer to this as fabric or plastic alternatively. The first thing you'll work on is making the arms for the gown. Fold over the top of the plastic so that it's 12 inches in width. With your ruler or measuring tape, which is what I'm using here, cut 22 inches into the fabric from the side to the center as seen here. Cut 22 inches into the fabric on the other side of the gown as well. Next, you'll cut the hole for the head. Go to the middle of your gown, which you'll notice has a line marking the middle. You'll want to center your tape measure in order to cut a 13 inch hole for the head. When you cut what will become the hole for the head, you don't need to go down very far. That could make the hole too wide so that the gown actually falls off the wearer, which endangers them. Next, we are going to work on the space behind the neck. We're going to cut out some rectangles so that the bag is easy to take off when a healthcare worker is done wearing it. I recommend cutting rectangles out that are centered on the same line as before, about five inches wide. I suggest cutting three rectangles with straps left behind that are one inch wide. There are three straps so that in the event that one accidentally breaks, the gown won't fall off and the wearer is protected. You can take your paper rectangle measuring five inches by two inches and use this as a guide to figure out your cuts. I don't do it here, but I do recommend it. Now we're going to work on shaping the trunk of the gown, so fold your sleeves back into place. Along the same 22 inch cut you made earlier, measure 15 inches from the side. At the 15 inch mark, you're going to cut straight down. This will narrow the gown. This will leave a seven inch flap, which makes it easier for the wearer to put the gown on. With the piece of plastic you just cut out, you'll measure two inches in from the side and cut a strap. You'll discard the rest of the plastic. You can just toss it behind you. Repeat this on the other side. So now we move on to ironing. I'm using an iron on the middle setting, not the hottest setting, which says it's the temperature for cotton blends. I'm ironing on a piece of cotton to protect my iron from the plastic and protect the gown from getting destroyed by direct heat. Make sure the edges of the plastic meet up correctly. Place your cotton fabric on top of the short edge and make sure the plastic underneath it is smooth. Take your iron and run it over the cotton and the plastic 
about one inch or two into the plastic. I usually just have half my iron on the sleeve itself, and you'll just want to keep checking that the plastic has melted together along the edge. If there are any gaps, seal them together. Next, you will reinforce what you just did by folding over the edge by half an inch, placing the cotton over it, and taking the iron to it again. So now you move on to the long seam of the arm and you'll do exactly the same process here. First, you'll make sure the edges meet together and then you'll put your cotton on top of it and then take your iron and iron over it. Again, just using about half of your iron. Don't go too far in so that this stays one size fits all. As with before, Make sure you check for gaps. Again, fold it over by half an inch to reinforce the work. Apply your cotton and iron over it. And that's how you make a sleeve. Now you'll do the same on the other side. So first, you iron over the short edge, cotton on top of it. Then, once that's set, You'll fold it over by half an inch, place your cotton on top, and iron it again to reinforce it, again checking to make sure it's all sealed. Then you'll move on to the long edge and do the same. Place your cotton on top, iron over it, then fold it over by half an inch and iron it again. The very last thing you'll do with the iron is attach the straps. This is very easy. You'll take that seven inch flap we made earlier and put that on your ironing board. You'll place the end of a strap, I usually choose the thicker end, if there's a difference, on top of it, meeting the edge and going about two inches in as shown. Then place your cotton over it to protect your iron and to protect the gown. Now iron over it and check that it's properly melted together. Repeat this on the other side. To finish the gown, get your scissors again and making sure that you're cutting on the same edge as where the hole for the head is, you'll cut a curved line at the top corner of the sleeve about three inches in and three inches down. A person can stretch the material so that it fits their hand. Then measure one inch beyond that and cut a rectangle out about half an inch wide and one inch long. This will be the hole for your thumb. Do the same on the other side, again checking that you're cutting on the same edge as the hole for the head. Measure three inches in and three inches down, 
cut a curved line, then measure one inch past that and cut a hole for the thumb. And you're done. The next thing that we're going to do is show you how to fold and store our gowns so that it's ready for use. The most important step and the first step in this process is to make sure that the side of the gown that is facing the patient will be the one that is facing up when you're going to fold it on the floor. Alright, so once you have it all laid out on the floor, the first step is to find the arm crease and fold that piece right underneath it underneath the gown and you can leave the strap out. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Again, leaving the strap out. You're next going to fold the arms down, making sure that they're still within the border of the gown. After that, it'll be flipped up in half. Next, you're going to make two more folds. And the last step, you fold this into the middle and then this side into the middle. You can keep the straps up and these will fold on top of each other. This is the finished product. Um, one of the things that we've been doing is wrapping the straps around and just tucking them in the gown so that it stays together. What happens next is very similar to a surgical gown, you will be able to insert your hands right underneath on each side and you can then shake it down and step right in. Fingers go in the thumb hole, head goes through, and you can tie the straps in the back and it's ready for use. Here you can see how the corner of the sleeve can be wrapped around the wrist to fit under a glove. Again, one size fits all with this gown design, so no modification is needed at the wrist. To remove the gown, you will first bunch the gown at the level of the back tie and pull forward until this breaks. Then you will reach up and pull the gown forward at the level of the neck until those straps break as well. You have now correctly removed the gown.